Welcome to Using Medium to Increase Your Influence, Your Connections, and Your Web Traffic. I love Medium. In fact, it's one of my favorite, favorite uh, websites. I love being able to utilize that to uh, increase my following, get traffic to my websites, and more. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to uh, post content to Medium, and I'm going to show you another couple of things that you can do to increase your exposure on Medium. So here's Medium. It's medium.com. I'm actually logged in. This is my account. And I'm going to show you around a little bit. When you go to medium.com, if you're not logged in, you'll see a screen similar to this. It's their timeline of different uh, items. If you are logged in, it is going to show the things that you are following. So for instance, these are things that I'm following, the topics I enjoy like writing and motivation. Um, it also will give you suggestions of people you might like to connect with. Um, so these are most of the things that I get um, on a daily basis when I go to Medium, if I'm just logging in before I actually do anything with Medium. And let me just show you what that looks like because I get it, I get a daily email with a digest of the stories that I am most interested in reading. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm over on my Gmail account. This is where I have my all of my stuff sent that I don't want to clog up my regular email. So my Gmail account gets subscriptions to all of the things that I read. And here's my here's how it looks when it comes to you. It's a daily digest. And again, it will show the things that you're most interested, your daily three, they call it. Um, so here's one about um, uh, lifestyle. These are all in um, different areas of medium. For instance, this is in the mission. I'm following the mission. So here's the mission. Um, and mission is published by Fresh Books. There are others. Let me show you some of the others um, I'm following. And this will be just in my timeline. So it's it'll be just on my timeline when I type in, when I go to um, medium timeline. So I'm not following timeline. So that's interesting. I thought I was. So now I'm going to follow timeline. Let me not do that right now. But that's all you have to do is you just click on there and you can follow them. Um, and you can read um, the things that they have posted. Some of these sites, like Timeline, will invite you to and ask you if you'd like to write for them. So check out some of these other publications on Medium, because Medium isn't just a general publishing platform. Publications publish on, on Medium, such as the Huffington Post Thrive Global, which I'm going to show you that because I'm actually a writer for Thrive Global. Um, so here's another one called The Coffee Licious. That is a channel on Medium that people write for. And you can click on these when you get when you sign up for Thrive before you do anything. I'd recommend you really do a little research. Look at some of the different um, uh, publications on Medium. So you see it has its own URL, the Coffee Licious. Dot com. It's not it doesn't isn't called Medium, but it actually shows up on Medium, and you can see who's writing, who's um, who's writing for them. And what I really love about the way it's set up is, if you ha aren't following these people, you can actually um, cut, follow them right here. So that's really cool. I'm not going to do that again because it's asking me to log in to Twitter to do that. Um, but you can follow a lot of these people. You can read more about um, the different publications. They'll always have that somewhere on their home page so you can actually get some information and find out if you're um, if there's a possibility of writing for them. And you want to write for these publications because they are um, targeted to specific audiences, whereas Medium is more of a general audience. So that's Coffeelicious. We already did Timeline. And so you can look through your, your when you subscribe, uh, I'll show you what you do. So we go back to Medium. And I want to, um, this is for you. So when you go to your Timeline, it's going to give you the things that you're interested in. 
you can click on top stories and you can read all of the stories that are going on on Medium through um, their top stories timeline. Um, you can do editor's picks, political, etc. So it's showing that I am not logged in, so let me just go and fix that. Hold on one. So I see now why it was asking me for my login through Twitter because I w it showed that I wasn't logged in. So let me just show you another one. So let me see if I can find, um, I follow a lot of women. I don't really follow a lot of the men unless there's something I'm really interested in um, that they're writing about because most of the people that I work with are women and I target women a lot. So I'm usually um, following women. And of course I wanna read about them. And this is what's cool is when you're seeing an article, um, you can read, you can click on their name or their profile picture and you can read about them. You can read the most recent stories they've written. And if you want, you can follow them right here. So there you go. I didn't have to log in this time. So that's what's really cool about how you follow people on, on, um, on uh, Medium. So let me take you over to my profile real quick. So here's my profile and it shows how many people I'm following, how many people are following me. Um, it'll show my featured articles here and you can see this says Thrive Global. That's who I'm writing for now and I'm going to tell you why. Um, originally I was just writing for Medium and then I read one of my friends was writing for Thrive Global and it happens to be a publication of Huffington Post and who doesn't want to write for Huffington Post? A lot of people do. It's a, a good um, credibility uh, uh, increaser. And uh, so I really thought it would be a good opportunity for me to get my content viewed by more people. And it has proven to be true. So if you, so, here's my um, profile, et cetera. I can, you can come right here and edit. You can uh, look at your the latest things that you've written here. So this is my most current content, and you can see the first the first four listed were the ones from for Thrive Global because I just recently started, and um, uh, these are things that are recommended by me from other people that have, other people have written. So you can see what you've recommended. You can see what you've highlighted here. Uh, you can see responses to your content here, which is really good the year responses, etc. Let me go back to my profile and you just simply click on your picture and I'm going to show you my stats because I think that's really what's going to make you understand why I'm writing for another uh, publication than just writing for Medium. Um, so I was writing for Medium. I've been writing for them for a little over a year I guess. Uh, my first article was The Power of Masterminds and look at the number of people who have read or viewed the article. These are the views. These, the second column is the read, the number of people who've read it. So people, eight people viewed my first article, but only two people read it. So only 25%. Now you see that it's all over the place. It's anywhere from 67 to 20%. Um, I think 100% was because they only went, had one person view it and one person read it. And of course, you can get more people viewing and reading your content if you promote it more. So if you if you write it and then you share it on social media, which I've done with some of these, like for this one, the seven life-changing benefits of becoming more minimalist, minimalist, that was the most popular one I wrote before I started writing for Thrive. So you can see I had 57 views, 40 people reading, which was 70%. And then two people recommended it. So you can, and then this one, five people recommended it. So you can see that the recommends and the views are not high, they're not bad, you know. But at least you know exactly what you're getting. So here's what happened when I started writing for Thrive. Um, my very first article got 113 plus um, additional views from Facebook, etc. So 113 people on Thrive Global read my first article. Not bad. 60, actually viewed it. 68 read it, which was a 60% ratio, and 9 people recommended it. So then you get to my last one, 
which I think is wow because we're getting more and more. I'm getting more and more known on Thrive Global. 401 views, 279 people read it. Uh, the read ratio is 70 percent, and four people recommended. So you can see it's much higher on on Medium now that I am actually writing for a specific publication on Medium. And you can go in and you can look at this stuff um, again. Um, let me just show you a couple other things. Follow your interests. Now here's the publications that I'm following and I'm writing for. So it's Thrive Global. It says I'm a writer. And these are all the ones I'm following. Um, I've thought about writing for more, but I think I'm just going to stick with one because I can really do uh, make, I think, more of an impact if I'm just concentrating on one. But that's entirely up to you if you want to write. If writing is your thing and you write a lot, like I do, then you might want to write uh, for more than one. Since I have so many blogs and I manage blogs for other people, writing for one is more than enough. Um, so here's, you follow your interests, and you can actually change your interest. You can follow people writing about certain things. You can follow um, different topics. So here's how many stories are in stress. I'm not following stress, well-being, self-love, startup, leadership. I should follow leadership. Okay, I will, and innovation. But um, these are the ones that I'm following, the publications. And then this gives you suggestions for um, other things to follow um, that might be of interest to you. So this is where you want to go. And again, you go to follow your interests, and you can follow them there. Okay. So now I'm going to share my show my stories. So you can go in here and you can see the stories that you want to write. I've got three drafts in, in the back end. There are things I started and I just never finished yet, and I may or may not finish. Um, one is unlisted because I haven't decided if I want to publish it or not. Um, let me just show you now. So here's the last four, again, um, that were all written for Thrive. Actually, the last five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five articles. Uh, actually, I'm not sure why this one. Oh, because this one wasn't um, an article. This was actually a comment from someone else's article that I that I wrote. Okay, so you can read my stories. You can read your your um, your comments here, etc. Um, let's talk, let's write a story. So you can go here to write a story or you can go here to write a story. I'll just go there. It doesn't really matter. And then, and I'm going to give it a title and I've already got the article written out. So I'm going to pull it up. It's called, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And I'm just going to copy and paste it. I like to write these things ahead of time, especially if I'm busy. So here's my title. And then I'm going to write the story. And then I'm going to show you how to add some um, some graphics to it. So I'm simply going to copy and paste because I've already written the article. And then I'm going to format it. Um, and it's pretty much like a blog. You can you format it pretty much like a blog. You highlight it. You you bold it. Um, I'm going to change one thing on here. So here's my first. Paragraph. I want to make this. Uh, I want to make this stand out. So I'm going to actually make this a quote. In introverts, um, I'm going to do the same thing here, just so that those two pieces of content stand out. As you can see, you can make the the text larger. You can italicize when you when you um, do a quote. You don't need to do that. So this has been bolded. I could actually make the text larger if I want to. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. And you just go and play with it until you get it to where you want it to, you know, you want the things that you want it to do. Um, you can also highlight your text when you're through with it. Um, and now here's what I want to show you how to add an image. So when you want to add an image, you need to put your cursor by the text that you want. 
and click enter and you see where this little plus, plus sign is you click on that and you can add an image you can add um, video uh, you can embed something here and you can add a new part to the article so we're going to add an image and I've already picked the image that I want actually I picked a couple so I'm going to start with the first one which is um, introvert extrovert That's the image I'm going to share right now. And then I'm going to put here, I'm copying this because I want to use, click on the article of the picture, and you can put the caption on the picture. And then I'm going to put photo source Pixabay. All right. So you want to have the photo source, especially if it's a free site. You can put it anywhere in the article. I always put it up there. Now I want to add another um, part of the article. So I'm going to finish my um, uh, formatting. Again, it's pretty simple. Like I said, I'm going to just make this larger. Um, an ambivert is a combination of an introvert and an extrovert. I'm going to put another image right here, just because I had an extra one. I couldn't decide on which ones. So I'm going to use them both. You can use them both. And that'll be my second image. And, um, and, and Medium really likes when you use more than one image anyway. So this is, this is really uh, good to have that. Then I'm going to click Publish. No, nope, I'm not going to click Publish. I'm going to add a call to action. I'm going to add actually a little bio about myself, even though people can click on my um, content. I like to put a little bit more. Let me just show you what I'm going to do there. So I like to end all of my stories with some sort of call to action. So here's what I'm going to do. And this I just copy and paste from my all of my other content. So it says for more design tips, I would I'll because this is a lifestyle article, I'll take them to the lifestyle design book on my We Magazine for Women uh, website, and then I also ask them to click the heart below um, to give a little love, and that way that because the more people will click on it and like an article, the more you show up in the medium in like it's like every social media in the medium timeline you show up higher and more frequently. So if you get if you can get people to click on the little heart at the bottom of the article, and you'll see what I mean in a moment, then um, people will start seeing more of your content. And I think once I started doing that, if you notice my last article, um, I'll take you over here. This was my the article, how to be, this was the most recent article. You see that little green heart right here? So I can click on my own little heart if I want to, and you can do that on other people's stuff. Um, usually I don't do that unless I've read it. Um, I know both of these ladies I'm following. I think I'm following. No, I'm not following Kelly. I'm not, I know I'm not following Lisa and Jessica. Um, I'm going to follow them. And I'm going to click on theirs and just give them a little love. And then their stuff will show up more. And you see these are the topics or the, um, the keywords that I've put this under. Um, this is important because when as again when they see this little heart five people obviously this article got the most um, views so far 400 and something views and that's because um, I think by doing some being more proactive in your in how you position your article more people will be able to read it so here it is and I'm going to click on publish and what I'm going to do is I want to um, uh, put another personality and you see I like this it shows how many other um, tags there are for that topic and so you know you might want to do personality and personality types because if people are look, typing in the word personality types keyword wise they're only going to get 160 results which my, one of mine could be it as opposed to 695 or in some cases it's thousands so you want a, a keyword that shows up but you don't want a high number keyword because then it's good you're competing with everybody else who's using that keyword so now I'm going to say publish 
Um, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I need to go back and edit. For some reason, it didn't ask me about publishing. And Thrive Global, which is interesting. Add to publication. Okay, so here's what you do. So when you want to publish an article to a publication that you are writing for, you want to click on the publication that you are currently writing for, click Submit Story, and then the, the editors will approve or not approve the article. And here you see it'll say Story will be, um, they'll send you an email when they have reviewed it. And so far all of my articles have been accepted. So that's a good thing. And uh, hopefully they'll accept this one. It usually takes around 24 hours. And you just want to go through it again and make sure that you have done everything you want before you hit publish. Because otherwise, when you go in to make edit editorial changes, then it goes down to the bottom of the pile with Thrive Global. Because they're not going to review it more than once. They're not going to review it every time you make a change. So you want to make sure that before you submit it to a publication, that you have um, made sure that it, there are no typos, etc., which I did before when I wrote the article. I did that two or three times to make sure. So that's this. This is all about writing on, on Medium and how to leverage other publications on Medium and grow your, your following. Uh, you can also, as I said, oh, I wanted to show you how to do this real quick. So I have highlighted that um, te text, and I'm going to click on Link. And what I want to do is type in the link for um, the Lifestyle Design Book so people can go over there and check it out. So hold on one second. Let me grab that link. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight that. Click on link because it erased it the last time. And then I'm going to hit that. And it's similar to a blog post. Um, you can highlight it. You can, um, if you want to bold it, I'm going to bold it too. Um, and then there you go. So that's how you submit articles to uh, other publications and how you maximize your time on um, Medium. This is part of the Social Media Live uh, program. This is also part of the Women in E-Commerce program and my Redhead Marketing. So uh, if you want more social media tutorials, check out the new Social Media Live dot com today. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.